What's up, Packers fans? Aaron Negler here with your Packers Daily Chat, coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels. It's Friday, the weekend. It's here, people. Three-day weekend, too, for some of you. Um, of course, the big news overnight, uh, or late yesterday afternoon, Packers are set to hire uh, Tom Clements, the return former Packers quarterback's coach. He will be returning in that capacity. Um, this is obviously the greatest indicator yet that Aaron Rodgers will be back. Um, Rodgers has never, ever missed an opportunity to praise the work Tom did when he was in Green Bay, especially when Aaron was a younger quarterback uh, and developing and uh, learning to play the position. Still references some of the things that Tom taught him. Um, very interesting move on Matt's part. I know he had interviewed a few people, a few different people for the position, but um, Clements is a, a obvious nod to wanting to get Aaron Rodgers back in the building. Um, after a year of which, you know, Clements was retired. So um, I know I've seen lots of different speculation on Twitter, some of it joking, some of it earnest about the Packers just wanting him to come in and uh, develop love the way he developed Rodgers. I don't think nearly 70 year old Tom Clements is coming out of retirement to break in a new, a new quarterback. Um, this is clearly a move, the move to try and get Aaron back in the building. I think it's pretty smart by Matt and by Matt to do go that route. You know, um, that's the full court press from the Packers between the contract and Clements being back. It is really coming down to Aaron Rodgers whether he wants to play or not, essentially. Um, who's next? Going to bring in Tedford? Get, let's get all of Aaron's old coaches in the building. Why not, right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hope you're all doing well. Good to see everybody in the comments section. Big B is here. Uh, good to see everybody. Um, if you haven't had a chance yet, uh, Patreon members, I started a new podcast. I'll be doing it every week during the offseason and probably into the season, depending on time. But uh, it's called Shameless where I shamelessly book guests to get people to come to our Patreon page. Um, I had Rob Demosky from ESPN on yesterday for the first episode. It was a lot of fun. Rob is always great to talk to. So knowledgeable about the team, the history, everything. Uh, his time on the beat has been there since 97. So the man has more stories than I can count. And he told a few of them towards the end of that podcast. We talked about Rogers and Adams, obviously, in the Clements news. So if you're a Patreon member, be sure to check that out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It's up on the Patreon page. Mm. Carry it. This hire may fill the bill of vet I wanted, Nags. Uh, you mean at quarterback coach position? I mean, I didn't ever expect them to bring in somebody wet behind the ears to work with Rodgers. But, um, you know, the reason they brought back Getsy is because that was Rodgers' boy. And now they're bringing Clemens in because that's Rodgers' boy. And it doesn't take a lot to connect those dots. Chris, thanks for the super chat. What you got? How about we trade Jordan Love to Cleveland for Alex Van Pelt? Maybe hire James Jones as our wide receivers coach, too. See, now you're thinking. Now you're talking. I actually thought they might make a run at Van Pelt. And I think Rob said the same thing. Um, because, you know, Aaron was effusive in his praise of Alex and has made no kind of secret of how much he enjoyed working with him. But uh, Clements, obviously available and now going to be on the Packers staff. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't want to miss any super chats. People get so upset. Alex, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. I'm fine with old coaches, just not McCarthy. <laughs> Could you imagine <laughs> if they brought McCarthy back? It'd be amazing. Uh, Antoine nails it. All of this spells hashtag get all of a dog. Yes, I let her know yesterday. She is this close, this close to getting that dog. Um, but, but, but do you truly think love is the Q? I'm sure what you're uh, asking there, Josh. I don't know what Jordan Love is yet. He hasn't played. Let the man play a little bit before we have any ideas. I don't think anybody knows, including the Packers. Mike, thanks for the super chat. What would it take to get a Cheesehead TV Super Bowl live stream, including a halftime set from Motel Men? Woo! Wow. Well, the Motel Men bit would probably be a bit much. Um, but I don't know. I could go up to Ben's place and can make something work that'd be fun judy thank you for the super chat i have mixed feelings about 12 coming back it would be exciting to see the draft capital obtained from a trade it would be and it would absolutely be a reset 
of the roster and pretty much the direction of the organization. Um, so no guarantee that they would be successful, obviously. Uh, just because you have draft capital doesn't mean that you're going to nail every pick. Uh, that's a key component, obviously, is making selections that uh, work and uh, talented players that can develop. And, you know, I, I agree with you. I think it would be exciting. But I understand the Packers wanting to, um, you know, hope lightning strikes in the playoffs at some point, which is essentially what they'll, they'll be doing. A Rock, thanks for the super chat. Say we extend, sign, restructure Aaron Rodgers and every Packer you'd want. Me? Why is it me? We're 10 million below the cap. LOL. Goody's going big on free agent wide receiver two. Who are you picking and why? There's so many qualifiers here. What? I don't understand why you guys want to live in dreamland. Um, Allen Robinson. How's that? They tried to get him before, uh, and he chose the Bears. Maybe he takes a below market discount deal to come play with Aaron Rodgers, pump up his numbers. One year prove it deal for Allen Robinson. How's that? To play opposite Devontae? Devontae is going to get all the fucking coverage. He's going to be able to, you know, go up against number two corners with Aaron throwing him the ball. Give me that guy. Mm. Mike, Depeche Mode halftime show next year. That'd be amazing. But that's never going to happen. Do I think Adams gets a deal done before free agency? I think they're going to try. Um, I suspect he'll get the tag first, and then they'll work towards a deal after they place the tag on it. But that's just guesswork on my part. Um, ba -ba -da -ba. Will, thanks for the super chat. Would Goot trade Rodgers even if Matt LaFleur insisted on bringing him back? Does everyone in the front office need to agree to make that move? That is an excellent question. In theory, no. Uh, would Goot trade Rodgers if Matt insisted on bringing him back. Yeah, okay. Theoretically, Brian has full control over the 53-man roster and then, by extension, the 90-man roster in the offseason. Uh, that is his purview. If he got a call from Denver saying, we'll give you X amount, but to the letter of the law, can he pull the trigger on that without consulting matt yes a thousand percent he can and that is completely within his rights as far as what his job description is however we live in a society and the packers are an organization and goody and matt work together uh, and talk every single day um, goody comes would obviously speak not only to matt but to russ and of course to mark murphy before he would make any kind of move like that and from everything that we've heard from the Packers, we haven't heard from Brian yet, which is something I talked with Rob about. Um, but everything we've heard, you know, publicly from the Packers and even some of the reporting around the contract and what have you, it sounds like they're all in agreement that they want him back. Now, again, we haven't heard that from Brian yet. But I suspect that when Matt says we're all in agreement, that is what it means. Like they've talked about it and this is the way forward for the entire organization. But, you know, living like if you wanted to live by the letter of the law and what their jobs each entail, Brian has complete autonomy over the roster. And if he thought it was the best move to trade the quarterback, he would trade the quarterback and would be allowed to trade the quarterback and could do it. Like, you know, once that was done, it's not like Martin Murphy could call the league headquarters and go, oh, we didn't mean it. You know, like that is literally Brian's job. But again, that would never happen. He would 100% talk to Matt, talk to Mark, and talk to Russ before making any move like that. Um, that's a really good question, though. Marshall, thanks for the Super Chat. With the big-time TV money coming in 2023, do you think the kick, can, kick the can down the road deals will be most prevalent in this particular offseason? I mean, that's going to be – they're going to be prevalent regardless if they're bringing back Aaron Rodgers. Um somewhat i you know the the big money that you're talking about the big tv money there will be some in 2023 but the the actual humongous spike in the cap is probably going to be 2024 um most likely that but i still it still will go up significantly in 2023 um you know there's only so much you can do though i mean the one kind of mechanism that they've started using as everybody else around the league has is the avoidable years at the end of the deal which creates a whole another problem once and whenever you want to get out of that contract. 
Um, but yes, I think we will see a significant amount of that. I think we will see a lot of can kicking in that regard. Um, there's still going to be guys that are going to have to, that will be cut. There's still going to be some hard choices made. Um, but yes, I fully expect a lot of uh, pushing money. A lot of pushing money. Mm. Uh, what else we got? Your shirt is pretty cool. Thanks, Steve. I got it at the Cheesehead TV shop. Uh, check out cheeseheadtv.com on the top bar. If you go to the shop button, that'll take you to the Cheesehead TV merch section, and uh, you'll find this shirt there. It's uh, still relevant, unfortunately. I was really hoping this would be a collector's item this last couple of years, but still stuck on 13 championships. Still stuck on the most ever in the history of the league, like we do. Oh, someone was talking about Cecil Lammy. Cecil Lammy was saying the Packers could be in Amari Cooper if he hits free agency. I could see that. I could see it. I love Cecil. I'll be seeing him at the Combine in a couple of weeks. Uh, Cecil and I go way back to, you know, God, I think I met him uh, from football guys. But Cecil's a good guy. I used to see him at the draft all the time. Marshall, thanks for the Super Chat. With, oh, I got that one already. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Don't want to don't repeat. Pumpkin pie. What's up, man? Thanks for the super sticker. Greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks for that one. Marshall got that one. Okay, Chris, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. Let's live in the fantasy world where Megatron actually got to Green Bay. How long does he play? How many rings does he have? What if NFL edition? All of them. He has all the rings. If you want to be, you know, play fantasy, let's play fantasy. He, they win every single year he's in the league. I don't know, man. Like two, maybe? Maybe two. Maybe. That's a big maybe. Nicholas, thanks for the super chat, buddy. Our fan craze for a first-round wide receiver makes me sick. Makes me sick, says Nicholas. The two best wide receivers in the league aren't even first-rounders. Interesting how that works, right? I know, man, but, you know, people get, you know, excited by shiny objects. And they like big, tall, speedy guys, and they want them to play with Aaron Rodgers. I get it. But, you know, this I let go of all that a long time ago. It used to bug me, but, man, Brian and company, they know what they're doing, and we're all going to sit here and second-guess it, and that's part of the job, and that's part of the content mill, right? And whoever the Packers take, someone's not going to be happy, and they're going to say they should have taken somebody else, and that's just all part of the gig, right? You can't let it affect you. I mean, making you sick? I dial it back just a bit, just a bit. It's all I, so I just, and that's just a suggestion, man. If you want, like, to invest in how other people feel about wanting a certain position in the draft to the point that it makes you sick, you know, that's you, man. You do you. But I'd suggest not doing that. That it's just me. This is how I'm rolling. Um, okay, I got those. Okay, I got all those. Good, good, good. Got that Marshall one. Good, good, good. Got the pumpkin pie. Oh, here we go. We got a bunch now. Judy, what's up? I'm waiting to buy that shirt when we add number 14. There you go, Judy. There you go. I don't know why I'm so pumped up. Who knows how long it'll take. Smash cut to Judy like 20 years from now. I'm still waiting. Dave, thanks for the super chat. People who obsess about cap and fiscal conservatism also think us, oh, U.S., should go back to gold standard finance joke. Wow, Dave, bringing the heat here on a Friday. Getting ready for a wild weekend over at Dave's place. Finance jokes, people. Eric, thanks for the super chat. Morning, Nags. Overreaction to the news yesterday made me feel like that scene in Moneyball where the manager says, you are killing this team. My biggest fear is we end up like the Saints. Pack away, please. Uh, I hear you, man. But, you know, let's, uh, as Han Solo said, let's keep a little optimism here. Look, you guys know I have been on the train of it's time, right? It's time to trade Aaron Rodgers. I said that in the final transplants. Um, you know, I think it's, it, it is just, it is time. I think it's the perfect opportunity, the perfect moment to do so. But if the Packers bring Aaron back, I'm going to cheer the hell out of this team. I'm still good. They're still in contention for a Super Bowl, more than likely. You know, I'm not going to sit here and fret about, oh, well, we might become the Saints. Man. They're going to make, try and make a Super Bowl run? You know how rare that is? Rarefied air in the NFL? I'm all in, man. I love it. Let's go. Let's go win number 14 so Judy can buy the shirt. 
Let's get it. Let's go. You know? At some point, you just got to embrace whatever it is the Packers decide to do because we're Packers fans. You know, I'm not a fan of fiscal conservatism, to use Dave's phrase. You know, I'm a fan of the Green Bay Packers. And if they're bringing back Aaron Rodgers, that's my QB, yo. Let's go. Let's ride. Most hated. What's up, man? GM Nags, keeper pass. Lazard, MVS, Cobb. Woo. Keep them all. No, I would probably keep Lazard. I think they will keep Lazard. Cobb is back in my mind if he if they restructure his deal. I can't imagine him being back on a $9 million cap hit. Um, and MVS, sadly, I think walks. I think he's going to hit the market, and I think he's going to make a boatload of money in free agency, um, which sucks because I really like him uh, with Rodgers. I love him in this offense. I think he's severely undervalued by a lot of fans, but um, I think NFL teams will value him, and I think he's going to get that bag but it won't be in Green Bay. Walter, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. What if Aaron threw to someone not named Tay or Jones? But anyway, what would a Matt LaFleur extension look like? Well, that's a good question after uh, some other coaches have been locked up. I mean, if you want to be completely cynical about it, look no further as to why Matt LaFleur probably wants to get, make sure Aaron Rodgers is back. If Aaron's back, they're winning another 12, 13 games and a boatload of games. And then he's in a prime position heading into what year, the final year of his deal to say, show me the money. Um, I think they'll probably extend him at some point at the end towards like maybe even I don't know, before camp, but definitely by the end of the season, this upcoming season. And what does it look like? Man, I don't know. Is it like Belichick money? I doubt that, but he'll get paid provided they you know, win another 12 games this year, which they probably will. John, thanks for the super chat. It made me smile seeing Dylan ranked second in PFF's rated running backs. Take that draft industrial complex. Go back, go. Yeah, John, I I told Mike, who uh, you know is the head of the draft kind of coverage over there at PFF, like I'm going to bring this up for the entirety of Dylan's career, how good he is, comparative to the fact that PFF hated that pick. Like I, oh, it's sweet, sweet karma. I absolutely love it. Uh, Jim is over here yelling at, in Facebook. If Packers want to trade Aaron Rodgers, they should ask for two first-round picks, a second round, and give them a fourth-round pick and add Drew Locke and Jerry Judy in the trade. Okay, Jim. I feel you. I feel you. Well, the truth is is that uh, Brian loved Locke coming out. If the, if the uh, Broncos don't jump up over the Packers in the second round, they were probably going to take it. Fun little nugget for you. Riley, thanks for the Super Chat. Who is one Packer not currently active in the league do you wish had won a Super Bowl? One Packer not currently active in the league that I wish had won a Super Bowl. Whew. Probably Lynn Dickey. I love Lynn Dickey, man. Like, I was obsessed with those Packers, those teams. And they were so much fun on offense. And they were so hard to watch on defense. And Lynn was so talented. Um, he took a ton of abuse. He, I mean, that man, that was when you could hit the quarterback and he got hit, but he just stood in there and threw like downfield. None of this fucking underneath check down bullshit we see today. Like he was throwing, you know, 15 yard ins and deep posts to Lofton and Jefferson and Kaufman seam balls up the middle, you know, like 20, 30 yards downfield. Like that man could fucking sling it. And the fact that, like, you know, that team obviously never sniffed a Super Bowl. I mean, barely. I don't think they, you know, they won one playoff game. And that was in a strike-shortened season. Um, yeah, I wish Lynn could have got a ring. He deserved it, no doubt. Uh, A-Rock, what's up, man? Thanks for the Super Chat. Do you think all-in means a philosophical change and they value free agencies as much as their own guys? Is it marquee free agency all-in if they can afford it? I don't think they'll ever be well like the Rams, you know, throwing picks around willy nilly. Um, I think they'll be in a, in the conversations, as Brian has said many times. I, I don't think they're going to break the bank for them. I still think they're a draft and develop team. And look, I mean, you look at the Rams and everyone looks at the trades they made and how they constructed their roster, bringing in all these names. But they still were this, you know, as far as like the teams that have built through the draft, they were like 
the six most homegrown players in the league last year. You know, that's still the bedrock of your football team. And I think the Packers are going to continue to operate that way. You know, the all in is very much about keeping the talent that they know they have or an attempt to keep as much of it as they can. You know, I don't think they're ever going to become, you know, a dream team chasing kind of operation. I just don't see that in the cards. <laughs> Toxin, what's up, man? Any hot dates lately? You on Tinder, Bumble, Hinge? All right. You know, yes, I, I've been on a few dates and they've all been pretty run of the mill or and or a disaster. So my uh my personal life is shambolic. Let's let's say that. Um Andrew, thanks to Super Chat. Realistically, how much more can Russ kick the can? You're gonna have to ask Russ. I'm telling you, man, with voidable years for a while. You know, at some point, yes, the bill comes due and you have to cut guys. I mean, that's what's happening with Z right now. Most likely Z is gone. You know, at, at some point, you know, those decisions and those hard cuts will be made. But, you know, especially with Aaron Rodgers, they're going to keep doing it until they can't anymore. When is that? With the explosion in the cap in three, two, three years, man. They may just make it to that point and not have to worry about it. Now, there's like I said, there's still going to be really tough decisions. Guys are going to be cut. They're going to move on from people. That's all still going to happen. But as far as like a doomsday where they all of a sudden have to cut like every piece of talent from their roster because they can't handle the cap situation, that's I just don't ever think that's going to arrive. A, because Russ is too good at his job. And B, um, I don't think Murphy would allow them to. Uh, what else we got here? Chris, thanks for the super chat. After the way the front office handled this year, I have no reason to fret any decision they make going forward. Their performance this season was top class. Go Pack Go. I agree. I think for the most part, they did a phenomenal job. I mean, throughout the entirety of the process of building a team, which as Brian always says, is a 365 day a year process. I very much agree. Soder, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. These free... Silver types and their cap shenanigans. William Jennings Bryan. <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Soder. I needed that laugh. So, Cal, thanks for the sticker. Appreciate it, buddy. What else we got? Marshall, thanks again for the super chat. Before the Barry hire, was Kevin Green in any consideration for DC? I don't believe so. I don't remember. I don't think he got an interview. Um, I know Packers fans were talking about it, but I don't think that was, he was ever a serious consideration. Too old for this. Thanks for the super chat. Head and shoulders sponsored Palomalu's hair. Cheesehead TV should sponsor Matt's eyebrows. Nice. Nice. I'll talk to Matt about that. That's a that's a good idea. All right, everybody. I'm going to have to get going. Uh, thanks to all the super chats, all the support. Um, please, please, please uh, do me a monster favor and hit like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And then tell your friends, tell your family, Cheesehead TV. We are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Hope you all have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Go Pack Go.